I started drawing when I was nine, just in third grade, and I the reason I started was because I found out wolves were a thing, and I decided, you know, I want to put that on paper. So I did, and I haven't stopped. <laughs> My specific in inspirations had revolved around wolves for like quite a few years, but then it slowly turned into people, and then people on like different social media sites that I had seen, and I and like Google searches for references of things that I could draw. It's more or less like just I find inspiration in just about anything. My favorite art medium is just traditional, I guess, pencil sketch or maybe illustrations with line art because, uh, I don't know, traditional is easier for me and I don't have an art tablet or anything at home to do online other than a mouse and nobody wants to draw with a mouse. My art impacted my life by being a sort of outlet, like if I'm happy I can draw something happy, or if I'm sad I can draw something sad, and it'll, like instead of, it's a healthy coping way, pretty much. My art helps make my life unique by just me having my own art style, I think. Like, I didn't think that I had my own, but the more people I talk to, the more people say, yes, you have your own art style, I can tell when it's you that drew it has made me closer to a lot of the art teachers that we have. It has made me closer to uh, certain people, I think. Like, people that I wasn't close to, I can be able to connect to with art. Because, like I said, I wasn't close to them, but we found a common ground. Other people think my art is, like, fantastic for a person my age, but I feel like there's room for improvement. I do plan on entering a career with art because it's something I feel like I can do in life. I plan on going, hopefully, with like Disney and Pixar and different animations or storyboarding for them or something like that.